Hello and welcome to Tash Life. I'm Tash and today we're doing a full face of Kmart makeup. Um, mostly a full face. Uh, there is a couple of little bits and pieces like mascara that I don't have from Kmart. But um, for the most part it's all from Kmart. So let's get into the video. Hello, today we are doing a full face of Kmart makeup. Um, I've bought some new things and I've got some things that are new-ish to me that I have tried but maybe only once. Um, it's fairly new uh, um, in store. So um, let's get into it. Some of it is OXX Cosmetics, some of it is BYS um, and yeah, I'm excited. Um, so, to start with, I think I'll do this uh, OXX Plumping Lip Gloss. My lips are a bit dry. Um, and I'll have everything, um, I'll have everything linked below. Um, if, if it's not available anymore, I'll just list it below, but um, like this this sponge is OXX Cosmetics. I don't know if they have this exact same one there anymore, but they do still sell sponges, so I'll just link whatever's whatever's closest to that kind of thing. I think they just change out the colours and shapes and things. So um, to start with, I've got this big box of stuff here that I've put aside. Um, start with... Uh, Primer. I have two primers to choose from. Um, I've got this one and this one, the Dewy Serum Primer and the Blurring Primer. Um, which one do I want to use? I think today we'll try the Dewy Primer and I'll put the other one in the box for the next... Um, next full face of new makeup or something like that. That's it. It looks really, really runny. I don't know if you can see that. Very runny. Um, I'll just tie my hair back. It does say that it has glycerin and niacinamide in it. So let's cross our fingers. Um, so it's got like a little pipette drop a thing and I'm just going to put it in my hand like this I don't know how much I need so that's quite see it's quite runny oh it smells very zesty um, very orange juicy oh, it literally smells like I just squeezed some oranges or zested some oranges Mm, very fresh. Um, I wonder if that means it's got vitamin C in it. I have to be careful with vitamin C too. Um, I can use it, but if I use too much, I do, I do have some problems then. Um, right. So um, I'll put on some eye primer. So I've got OXX eye primer. I'm pretty sure this is still available. So it comes with like, a, oh my gosh, like a, just a squirty thing. And I, all I do is I just put a little bit, which that is probably too much. Right, so, and then I just do this and put it even, put it up to my brows. So I've got this OXX stick foundation. It's in the shade Nude. So... Let's cross our fingers that it's dark enough because I'm starting to get a tan. So it is, it is a little bit light. I don't know if you can see. But we've got bronzers, so we'll bronze it up. I have to say, I bought this stick foundation just to try stick foundation, see how it goes. Um, but I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. 
I much prefer liquid. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I look, I look terrible. I look a bit ghostly. I've got concealer, RXX Cosmetics. This is in the shade Banana. I do have Nude as well, but, but Nude's a bit fair, as you can see especially at the moment. So this is probably going to look a bit strange, actually. Maybe I should go get the nude one. Because this is possibly going to be too dark. We'll see. We'll see. If it looks too dark, I'll just go get the light one. Too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't think I'll blend that out with them. Okay. So far everything looks good. I mean I have used, except for the serum, I have used most of that before. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see, I'll set on my eyes. I've got two powders. Um, I've got the OXX Cosmetics Finishing Powder. I've had this for a while. Um, it's not new to me. And I've got the BYS Translucent Loose Powder in Natural, which is new to me. I've only used it once in that video. So I might use this. Um, yeah, try a new makeup. So. I do have a brow liner um, from BYS. This is new. Um, I've only used it once in a video, so we'll give that one a go again. And um, I didn't know it's in the video. It has its own um, mascara. Uh, spoolie. Um, so we've got four blushes, no, bronzer first, bronzer first. Um, I've got these two which are new to me. Uh, we've got, um, here we go, uh, one is in the shade, this is Fawn, the warm one is Fawn, and the cooler one is Mink. Um, so do some swatches so you can see. But yeah, um, what I I have used it once, and what I did was I used the mink one, which is the cooler one, to contour, do a little bit of contour. And then I just use the bronze one to sort of warm up and bronze. So I'll, I'll do that again just for the, you know, that's what I like to do. And um, we're using everything here. So this is the type of brush I like to use for contour. Um, whether it's cream or powder, I just use the same one. Um, it's just the one I like. So... And you don't need much, but it blends these blend out really nicely, um, really uh, easily. So, oh gosh, see, it looks like I've just put way too much on there, but you know, if you just keep rubbing. It simmers down a bit, and it's not too bad. So. Okay, and now I'm going to do some bronzing with the the warmer one, and I just use this. Um, this is a Mecca Max. It's actually a foundation stippling brush, 
but this is what I use for my bronzer whether it's cream or powder this is what I like you don't need much you just just a tap a tap and that's all you need and you'll see how much that comes out it does blend away though like you can blend it out really easily see how much they would um, blushes we've got these um, new cream blushes um, this one is citrus and this one is tulip I think um, then you got these two which are and I'll just do some swatches of these that's the cream ones and so that's the powder pink and the powder orange and blush. So I'm thinking today, uh, I reckon I might do the orange ones. I was going to do the pink ones, but I'm thinking the orange ones today. Yeah. So what I'll do, um, I'll do the cream and then we'll put a bit of powder over the top. So what I like to do with these, um, I like to make sure my switch is clean. Um, I like to. I don't really like to put it on like this. I like to do it like this, and I feel like I've got more control over the situation um, and how much is going on. just so pretty so pretty I'm actually not sure if I even want to put something over the top or blush um, it's from Shein actually it's like a it looks like real techniques but it's not it's not real techniques it's just one of their fake brands <laughs> but I, I really like it I really like it so yeah so I just just touched it like that It's just so pretty with the other one. That one went on heavy. Okay, that's looking nice. I don't know if you can tell. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is still available. It's not really that old. Um, it's from OXX Cosmetics in Rosy Glow. I think they also have a golden glow and these are all highlighters um, and I really like it because there are different different colors you know um, it's not your usual champagne and pink and they're, they're just a bit A bit a bit different a bit out of the usual so I think today we'll go with the peachy one which is this one here yeah I'm going into this this one the brush that I like to use for um, powder highlighter and it's very can you see that it's very floppy it's actually a blush brush I did get this from Shein as well so just tap and then right on the side here yeah. and then just gonna whatever's left on it I just do this and it gets a little bit on my forehead I don't have a wide forehead and a little bit on like the brow bone and then a bit on the nose a little bit on the uh, cupid's bow bit all right I think that's enough highlighter for sure for sure okay I have two lip liners from OXX cosmetics um, this one's in the shade peony and this one's in the shade peach I've got this lipstick I do have some others but this is the one that I thought would like 
match my makeup better today. So it's in the shade Sultry and I'll do some swatches. Okay, so this is Sultry, this is Peach and this is Peony. So I think Peony is the lip liner we're going to use today. Um, yeah, I, that peach, it doesn't look very peach to me at all. It looks pink. Um, it looks like you could almost use that with the, the sultry as well. But, um, yeah, we're going to go for the peony today. So I don't always line my lips, um, but today we are. Uh, lipstick here it is so it's just quite a mid-tone lipstick really okay we have a couple of other lipsticks but um watch them I'll swatch them for you. Okay. This is a matte liquid lipstick from OXX in Mulberry, which is quite rich, rich colour. It's almost the same colour actually as the Sultry. Um, I'll just swatch that one again for you. Yeah, it's almost, almost the same. It's just richer. And then I just had this Retro Dream lip gloss. Um, doesn't really have a colour. I could probably put it over this lipstick if I wanted to. Here we go. I'll just put a little bit of it over the lipstick. I'm trying not to get any of it on my doe foot. Um, the thing I find about this is that not a lot seems to come out on the doe foot. Um, it's not a really juicy doe foot. So you really have to kind of get it on. <laughs> there we go. The eyeshadow palette, we've got the floral one. Um, I have done a video on this before. I'll link it down below. Um, so what I'm thinking today is I'm thinking the blues and maybe deepen it up with some of the browns and sort of ground it a bit with the browns. Um, that's what I'm thinking because last time I did brown, pink and blue and I think the blue will also go well with my shirt. So yeah, let's do blue. This this one here which is a light matte and I'll just um, I'll just put it through the crease I think and that um, eye primer it hasn't creased at all it hasn't it hasn't started to move around at all so let's see I've got this nice fluffy brush That's just one little touch. So. Okay, so I put that through the crease and above the crease. And I've just sort of blended it out um, a little bit. Um, now I will just use a my outer corner brush and I'm going into this dark matte brown which you can't see because it's brown and I'm just putting it in the corner the outer corner
and I'm going to put it along the bottom as well. Right up against the lash line. And of course, patting it in to the crease and all the lines to make sure that it's not going to wrinkle or crease. So that's where we're up to now. And I've got it along the bottom. So I'm just going to get my um, blender brush again and dip into that blue again and just blend them together at the top here. And I think I'll dip into the blue with the uh, my outer corner brush, whatever that is. And I'm just going to um, blend that in with the brown on the bottom. Right, now I'm going to get the this blue shimmer. And I'm going to put that on probably three quarters of the lid. So pretty. Um, I feel like it's got like a almost iridescent pink or purple or something in it I don't know if you can see it maybe there I don't know put that sort of above my crease so that you can see it because I do have hooded eyes Um, right now um, I'm going to get that one again the outer corner brush and I'm just going to go over the brown again in the outer corner to make sure it's it's still there and then I'm going to get the fluffy brush again and um, just touch that blue, that light blue again, just the tiniest little bit, just to make sure that brown and that shimmer is all blended nicely along the top. Okay, um, so that's what it's looking like so far. Um, I've got this little pencil brush. Can you see it? There. Um, and I'm going to get this really light blue there and I'm going to use that in the inner corner and then I'm going to blend it up into the other blue the the other shimmer And just wrap it around a little bit. Zoom it. Zoom. I think that will do for this eyeshadow look. Um, I'll do the setting spray, which is um, BYS Dewy Fixer. I did use this in that um, that flora video. So. Aloe Vera. Right uh, now, um, I do have this uh, which I bought. Do I want to do this? I'm scared. This could make or break the look, and I'm not very good. Not very good at eyeliner. Right, so 
it looks as though there is a left and a right um, arrow, like a stamp. So that means that I would need an actual eyeliner as well. So I'll just go and grab an actual eyeliner because I didn't think about that before. Um, I have a mud eyeliner. I don't use it very often um, to fill in our cat eye stamp. So let's see if we can try not to wreck the look. Wish me luck. I need to shake it or something. I don't think it's working. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use this. Um, uh, it's very very dry and I have to push very hard to get this much to come out like is it coming out more I don't know like I have to really push hard and wobble it around and waste like look at this like, I don't really want to do that on my eye. Did I get a dud? I'm scared. Um, I'm scared to do that because, because my eye skin is quite, it's starting to get quite loose now. And if I wobble it around, like, if I push as hard as what I'm pushing on my hand, I could very easily poke myself in the eye, so I think we'll just give that one a miss. Um, I'll just fix this little bit up. I just put a dot on there, which that's no good to me. I may as well just try and do it myself. So uh, we did setting spray. Um, I've got some eyeliners and a mascara. They are not from Kmart. Um, so I will link them down below. But um, I've got this She Glam blue one. And I've got a navy. Um, and I've got a black and a brown. So I'll just go away, do some eyeliner and some mascara. And then I'll come back with the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I really quite like everything. I think everything is a, a pass except for that cat eye line. I wouldn't probably, unless I got a dud, I probably wouldn't bother with that. But here's the, um, the finished look. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed myself. I had fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Please like and subscribe um, so you can see the next video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.